Hey, John. Hey, hey John. What, what's up? Uh, I bet you didn't know there was a new Way of the Samurai game out this week. I did not. <laughs> I bet. And, and, but like, actually, I should probably back up a little bit. I don't think that most people even remember what Way of the Samurai is. Except for like me and you and that one time we actually played a Way of the Samurai game. I think yeah. four. I think we played one. I think I played four with Jennifer. I don't know. We played like two or three of them because they put them all on Steam. But no, this week... This weird spin-off Way of the Samurai game came out, and we are playing it here on the dojo, and I'm Jeff. I'm John. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's jump in here. This is very, very, very strange. Um, it's real, real weird, John. Uh, I don't remember, I don't know how much you remember about, like, the first Way of the Samurai. Quite a lot. But this game is actually based on the first Way of the Samurai game. It's oh, like a weird okay. alternate universe story with this this pretty boy guy. And so it's like this weird... I like the art style. Yeah, it's this weird, like, top-down... Um, oh, weird. Kind of like three-quarter view, kind of Diablo type of thing. Yeah, um, that's weird. Yeah, it's very bizarre. And, oh, no! Oh, no, what's happening? See, do you, do you know, remember these people? You look pretty familiar, right? Vaguely. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't take my daughter! This is going to go full on Liam Neeson. Should have paid your debt, dude. Oh, shit. Man, that's weird. I don't think that makes a lot of sense, does it? You got to, like, feed his daughter, like, give her a room, give her, like, a bathroom and stuff. Seems like you would just be, like, wasting more money. You should, like, take those spears over there or, like, his glasses. Yet. Damn you! Okay. Oh, sure, hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this display of familiar love brings a tear to my eye. I don't think I don't think he's I don't think he's genuine about that, John. No. I think he's being sarcastic. Yep, that's a sarcasm laugh, all right. I think you should be required when you're being sarcastic, like on the internet, to put ha afterwards so that everybody knows you're being sarcastic. Yeah, no, I get that. You know. Uh, so here I am, the new samurai in town. I'm just like, hey, man. Oh, so, oops, saw your daughter. Your daughter got, got kidnapped, huh? We're closed for the day. What, what, ha what happened? You saw it. Get out of here. <laughs> Just taking away his collateral. I'm a pitiful excuse for a father. <laughs> ha ha! Okay. I mean, if you want me to. Ha! Ha ha ha! But see, it was sarcastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a swordsmith. You so don't this say. guy is like, he's been in all of the Way of the Samurai games. Yeah. In the first one, he was a swordsmith, but then he shows up as like a, a warrior in some of the other ones. Yeah. Um, Enter your name. Oh, shit. What should we make our name, John? Samurai? Um, how about like... How about like Sammy? Sammy the Samurai? What do you think? Yeah, no, that's right. Though. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a joke. It is a joke! Look, he, he recognized he, the he joke! Got it. Yeah! <laughs> uh, come back tomorrow. I'm not in the mood to work today. Oh, you and me both. Uh, I'll rescue your daughter. Sure, why not? What are you after? Uh, I'll help if I can marry her. <laughs> I was looking for a wife. Oh, okay, let's just go with this. This is the least creepy one. I think they're all creepy. Yeah. But, like, I'll rescue your daughter if she'll marry me. I mean, you know, Dojima, that's a good, that's a good policy. Uh, let's try. I can get her back in no time. <laughs> I still don't trust you. Uh, well, I guess maybe this is like the... Remember in Way of the Samurai, how you could just, like, leave? Yeah. <laughs> if you could really repay my debt, I'll think about it. We have to get her back. We'll talk about marriage after she's safe. Okay. I'm going to sleep. Sleep in my house, stranger, if you feel like it. So, okay. Let's go up here and uh, let's go to sleep. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh-oh. What, do you got to pee? Need some water? 
I like no, the you told him to sleep till nightfall. Look, she's got this like this totally oh. weird little like um yeah, like little like western room or whatever, and like a big safe. So uh let's see what's going on out here in the middle of the night. Uh oh. What's with this ominous looking tree? I don't know. Let's, let's go check it out. Let's see what's going on. Looks like there's stairs. Let's let's jump inside of this tree's parts. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if you see a tree with a big glowing vagina on it, you got to jump in there, man. Yeah, you got to. You got to get in there. You got to just dive in head first. So, okay. Um, John, this game is one of those, like, Japanese roguelikes where you go into, like, a dungeon every day and then you, tr like, get stuff and then bring it out and then like sell it in the store during the day and then like go fight at night. Except the weird thing is that it's all like kind of way of the samurai rules. Like you see the sword icon down at the bottom has like um, has like a durability. And so the more you use it, like the more it gets weakened. Um, okay. And then you've got those two bars and one of them is your health. The top one is your health and the bottom one is your vitality. And the thing is like if you take a hit, you can sheath your sword and basically, uh, when you do that, it'll trade the vitality for health. Like, it'll lower the vitality meter and then raise the health meter back up. But if you run out of vitality, you're, you're done -zo. You die. Uh, if you run out of health, I believe it just starts hacking your vitality. But it's basically, like, just these weird procedurally generated dungeons. And then you go and then, uh, you know... And it's all from this top-down perspective, but then it's got very much the same, like, you've got the whole, um, like, you can kick guys to, to break open their defense, and, um, like, you end up with a million different swords, and you eat a bunch of daikon radishes. The thing I kind of like about it is every time you go into the dungeon, you start over, you see a little level meter down there. Yeah. Um, and then every time you level up, you get your health and your vitality back. And so every time you go into the dungeon, you start at level one. Um, so it kind of gives you like a way to, um, because as you get like further into the dungeon, you'll need to start using consumables to get your your health and your vitality back. Okay. Uh, but at the beginning, you could just kind of level up, right? If you just level up, then you get all your shit back. Uh, and then you also pick stuff up. Like I got these mushrooms. And so they all do different things, like... Uh, like, uh, have you uh, tripping balls? Yeah. Actually, uh, there are poison mushrooms, and I have accidentally eaten them a number of times. So, um, yeah, there's also a weird thing where if you sheath your sword, you can, like, if it... I can't really do it right now, but if your sword, like, will start to steam, and if you sheath it, then you can do, like, a kind of an unsheath move to it. And then you also see that the sword has an individual level, and that as the swords level up, you get, like, different types of attacks that you can do. Okay. Because the swords That's are all... like the swords in Way of the Samurai, where all of your moves are, like, tied to the individual sword that you're using. Yeah. Um, and I find it very strange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because this is, like, not the kind of Way of the Samurai game that I would have thought uh, I was getting. Uh, in fact, I was trying to think of outside of, like... I don't know, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, and then I feel like a lot of the... Oh, man, I'm a little chick. Um, a lot of the, like, porn games, I feel like, do this, where there'll be, like, a visual novel, and then, like, um, in between you go into a weird dungeon. So every day you get news, but then, like, you can see that, like, these are the people from Way of the Samurai 1, right? The Afro Samurai guy, you got the two houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The different yeah. families. You got that one guy with the, like, the shaved in the middle of his head. Um, and so as the, as the game goes on, like, each one of those individual clans, I haven't actually gotten to the point where you can... Um, you can influence them, but apparently you can, like, send swords to one and then, like, not to the other, and it'll, like, make that faction happier with you and the other faction like less happy with you so um all right so we can i think we're at the end of the first day i went to that tree i went to a strip there's a hole in the tree that tree is a strange cave that's impossible 
And the pine tree is the incarnation of the blacksmith god. And that's oh, you, you can gather materials. Yeah. You been in there? Blue. Mm. Okay. Oh. Passed out from hunger. I woke up next to the Blue. Ipmatsu. Everything I had gathered in the cave was gone. Uh, so yeah, if you die, you lose all the stuff that you um if you die you lose everything that you've oh, gotten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the stuff that we were picking up um Here you go. the stuff okay. Oh, miracle medicine. All right. I don't even know what that what is, I don't even think I've ever used that. What does that do? Uh Oh. Okay. I, it's not doesn't seem like it's in my bag. All right. So, when you go to sleep you can advance uh or and then I, I don't know if you're able to move further out into the world, but like um, uh, there are these little exits, but you can't go through them. I haven't gotten to a place where you can go through them yet, um, but you can run around this area and there'll be like he's this blue guy. Here's like people walking around. You could just like talk to them. Um, so, yeah, it's very, 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 very odd. There's like a vending machine uh, where you can buy stuff you can buy here or like change your name or like insurance for if you die okay. then you get to keep your stuff but like insurance is 2500 and i've got like 107 bucks so uh but then the other thing that happens is that you see up there every couple of days that dude comes to get money from you uh so you have to have you have to have enough money out of the dungeon every x number of days in order to pay off the debt that dojima's done so how much money uh well right now it's a hundo it's a hundo um which we start the game with a hundred but then i think the next thing that happens is that it's like four days and then you have to have 300 but let's jump back in and see uh we oh, since we we're just fighting like snakes and dogs and shit uh it wasn't really a big thing but eventually you fight like skeletons and onis and stuff that give you uh, so here's a question. Mm -hmm. How much was this game? 30 American dollars. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think that it's such a niche thing that, like, I don't know that... Um... Okay, well. Uh, I don't know that... That might be a little high for somebody who was just like, ah, oh, maybe I'll try it out, you yeah. know? Like, 20 would probably be a little better for just like, hey, I don't know. Maybe I'll give this game a shot. But um, it definitely has a really clear, like... Um, I, I played about an hour, like or, uh, an hour or two of it, and what I got to, and so we'll probably not get there by the time I, I got done here, but like the three factions, like they will start sending you orders, like they'll want swords, and then you can bring the swords out of the dungeon and you can have them, you can deliver, you can fulfill those orders, and when you do that, um, uh, they set up stands and each one of the factions has a different stand that will sell you different things. Like some, some of them will sell you healing items. Some of them will sell you um, like outfits and equipment. One of them will let you hire like uh, like NPCs to come into the dungeon with you to protect you. Oh, okay. Like uh, computer controlled guys, which I think was something that you could do in Way of the Samurai, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, you could have hire you could mercenaries. Have, you could have buddies with you. Uh, but then the the thing is that I was thinking before about how the the fact that you always go back to level one when you go to the dungeon is like the weird simulation of doing another run of Way of the Samurai. Yeah. Uh, even though you get to kind of continue forward. Um, and then it's got that whole thing where, like, um, you'll get to a point where you can choose to keep going or, like, cash out and, and take your stuff. Oh, man, I'm just I'm full of mushrooms. So, so you can see now... Oh, well, it didn't really work, but I was going to say that I have... Um, that I've lost some health. I was going to show you if you sheath your sword. I also think that uh, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can even do this this move from uh, from Way of the Samurai where you just prostrate yourself. Like in that in that game, if you got into like really big trouble, you could always just be like, "I'm sorry," and then you know, 90% yeah. of the time they just cut your head off, and you know, every so often they'd be like, "Well, you seem all right," um, but it's it's real weird. Did you ever? I mean, have you, I don't think I've actually ever beaten um, a way of the samurai game. Um, I mean, I've gotten through like, like playthroughs, like multiple playthroughs. Yeah, but like 
I wouldn't say like I've gotten like a hundred percent because like a good ending. Yeah, because if I'm not mistaken, like Way of the Samurai Four was like a kind of a small game. Mm-hmm. Like you could literally beat it in like two or three hours. Yeah. But because it was like the same, it was like a three day time span. That okay. Just you just played over and over again until you got certain endings. Yeah. Um. And I could be wrong about that. I want to say it was it was four though. Um, well, I mean, they've all like you know the the first game. I guess that's that, that was kind of a weird question for me asking if you beat one of them because I mean technically you could start way the samurai and then just get on the train and leave, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but there is like a there is like a canonical ending yeah. to that game, but I don't think I've ever gotten far enough to actually to actually get it. Um, yeah, this opening is a little. Eh. I don't know. Um, as always, I listened to the the Watch Out for Fireballs guys. They did an episode on the first game, and it really made me kind of just want to go back and play the first game. Um, but I ain't got I got time for that, John. Nope. I got time for that. Got all kinds of brand new games coming out. Um, let's see. So then, I think this is the first time that we hit like there's like these weird. Uh, oh shit! Get out here, dog. Not a big fan of the dog killing. I could do without the dog killing. Yeah. But what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the end of the levels will have these little, like, uh, like boss challenge rooms where you'll get either, like, one, like, kind of big, big boss or you'll get, like, a whole, like, kill five guys in the amount of time, uh, and that'll, like, get you a better payout and then... Um, like uh, an exit, usually. Uh, I like these glowing mushrooms because they give you more uh, experience points okay. when you have them activated. So there's also like a whole bunch of status stuff. So here's some of the here's some of the skeletons, and like if you do a perfect block, you get like an execution move. Um, so it actually has kind of a, a pretty good amount of like technical, like you know, um, challenge to it. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to just being kind of just run up and hack, hack, hack. Uh, you also get... Um, man, I am low on... I think it's daikons that give you back your... There you go. Back your stamina. Uh, oh, and then you also get... There's a skeleton. Yep. Uh, let's see if I can do... Let's see. Do I have a... Uh, I don't think I've got that. There we go. You gotta resharpen your sword. Well, so then when you get swords, uh, you can like take a sword. Okay, so these are the other two that I picked up. It just automatically equipped them. But you could take your sword and then sacrifice another sword to repair it. Oh. Uh, so you have to basically you end up with a lot of like kind of trash swords when you're going through. But once you start fighting these skeletons, then you just start picking up all kinds of crazy swords. Like there, I should have an extra one. So if I go here, I can like take this sword and then cash this sword in and get back a little bit of durability on it. Um, and then there's just like one million swords. Like there's the different sword stances. Again, like they have in Direct Way of the Samurai. Uh, so you'll have like low stance, mid stance, high stance, and okay. Yato stance swords. And then each one of them levels up and gives you a different set of abilities that you can use. Um, pretty cool. I, I pretty cool stuff. Yep, it's just telling me to, how to do what I've already been doing. What's up? I mean, but the actual combat is just there's just two buttons. There's just like a light attack and a heavy attack. Um, but I don't know. It works. There's something kind of some kind of fun about it. You know, I don't know if it's just because it's based. Normally, these types of games aren't the sort of thing that I go for, but I feel like because it's based in the way of the samurai universe, I'm a little bit more uh, interested in it. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? So we got the debris golem. So then you also have the thing to see at the bottom, the little yellow circles by the uh, the sword icon. Yeah. Uh, you can basically kind of unleash like a super attack when you get those filled up. So let's do some super attacks. Yeah, suck it, golem. Wah, wah, wah. 
Uh, but the one thing that is kind of interesting is that your like all of your sword durability and stuff, like it, um, uh, it's it's persistent, so it stays throughout each run. So um, you have to, you know, in between runs, you need to like repair your swords, and you can like bank the ones that you really like, um, and hold on, you know, and kind of like sell off or just get rid of. There's even a, a whole thing where the blacksmith can craft stuff, um, but it kept telling me that that was unavailable yet. So who knows how long it would take for that to actually kick in. Uh, and then there are different biomes. I think like every like four or five of these that you go down, you get access to like a, uh, like I found like a forest level. Oh, nice. Uh, that had like little shrines in it that would give you a lot more money. Like these levels kind of suck because you don't get very much money out of them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh-oh, the debt collector's here. We got this, don't worry. Yeah, I got a hundred dollars. Okay. If Atsu Cave, Sammy saves the day. All right. Uh, and then I can't, I have to start wondering whether they're like, a lot of these types of games don't really have much of an ending, uh, but I'm wondering if there's like different endings that you can get. You insulted me, prepare to die. All right, so uh, I'll pay. There you go. We got around here. Whoa! I wonder if you could fight these guys. Oh, I guess you can. I kind of wonder what it would be like if they just straight up made like a top down way of the samurai game. Like, it seems like they've got all the elements in here. Um, so, yeah, you can't craft swords, but you can also do some really crazy shit. Um, where, uh, oh, you know what? Oh, John, this is so strange. He has some money, or he had some money in the safe. I wonder if that came from my previous run. Um, anyway, let's see. It's a world of monsters. Jikai, what's what's all that about? Oh, the afterworld. Why does the tree in your front yard go to the afterlife, dude? Nah. Uh, I mean, doesn't everyone have one of those in their yard? I don't. Do you have one of those in your yard? You hang out in the afterlife? The Japanese underworld? Uh, I really can't talk about it. Oh, man, you do. So uh, <laughs> you also have this weird thing where you can upgrade stuff so you can reinforce with the materials, all that shit that I've been picking up in the dungeons. But then it's like Way of the Samurai where you can see that enhancing it uh, is that 18 number that's flashing. So you get more, it basically gets more powerful. But then there's also the little hammer icon there, which this is a thing directly from Way of the Samurai where you can only enhance the sword a certain number of times before you just have to start over with a new sword. So, um, so let's sh so let's sharpen it. There we go. Let's increase the durability. Okay. Can I sharpen? Do I have enough to do it again? Yeah, there we go. Get this one all done. Um, but then there's even another weird thing where you can put a title on your sword. Oh yeah. Um, I think that's they also allowed that in one of the one of the more recent ones. Yeah, but you have to pick up title books. Ah, uh, so each each title book. And I think there were some on sale at that. Uh, um, oh, the kiosk. vending machine. Yeah, vending yeah. machine. Uh, the only thing I don't really like is I kind of wish that there was like just a kind of hey, repair my sword all the way. I don't care what you use up to do it, type of thing. Um, but then also what's weird is that uh, what's also very strange is that um, um, I got some bows, too, which I think was something you could get in the yeah. in the original. Um, let's see. Let's just cash Yeah, if I remember these correctly, in. in the originals, you could get mostly it was swords. There were some bow staffs. 
Um, I want to say there might have even been bow and arrow in one of the games. Mm. Was there a gun in one of them? Uh, or there was somebody with a gun. I think there was somebody with a, it was a like rifle. The uh, it was like the the uh, there was like a the army guy that was in town because like yeah. this guy he's straight up in the first game yeah. right you know um and so I kind of I I haven't gone like a crazy person uh yet about just like what happens if you just start killing everybody <laughs> maybe that's what we should do at the end is just uh i mean if that's what you want to do just put just kill everybody um all right let's let's take one more spin around the old dungerinos let's see if we can't get to some of the more interesting biomes oh yeah you can also play it online and other people can come into your game and help you out uh which m i guess might be the reason that it's like this what's up oh. dude oh <laughs> Can fall asleep. Yours. Of course, I guess if it's anything like we had the samurai, we'll try to attack Boy. one of these guys and then uh, get our asses kicked. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right, let's jump in here one more time. Oh yeah, we already have enough. Um, we already have enough cash to pay off the next installment. Do we? Because I thought the next installment was three hundred. It is, but we have three hundred somehow. So. Um, oh, get, let's get out the swords first. Uh, so then the other thing you can do is you can switch between swords. So, like, I brought this one, but I also have... This is just one of the better swords that I picked up, the better trash swords that I picked up. But this one's a low attack, so it's got, like, more of a, a pokey attack, whereas this one is more of, like, a swing. Um, so, yeah. I think it works. I think it works. Okay. Oh, there we go. And so then as we use the swords, we get different uh, different attacks that we can do um, with each individual sword. Oh, shit. I didn't put down my mushrooms. I do kind of wish that it wouldn't put all that shit on the right-hand side of the screen when you do stuff. Uh, it makes it kind of hard to, to actually see anything. There we go. Uh... Taylor, let's just go. This level isn't super interesting. <clears throat> I don't know. What's a? Um, do you think of any franchises that you've been a big fan of over the years that just like you feel like nobody knows about? I mean, I know that people know about Way of the Samurai, but I don't know. I just, you know, nobody ever seems to make them. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I mean, along the same lines of Way of the Samurai, I like Kengo. Mm -hmm. Um was another one, which I think I actually brought up the last time we played a Way of the Samurai game. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever actually played that game or any of those. I think... Because it's a franchise, right? There's more than one of those? I don't... So, yeah, I think there's like one? two. Okay. I want to do Mark of the Cree game, John. Okay. You remember that one? Yeah. Weird. Ooh. All right. Um, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I, I just want to know no, one's no One Lives Forever game. That's all I really care about. That's all I really want in this world. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what are some games that people may not, I don't feel like people know about. You know what I like? A good Fatal Frame game. <laughs> um, yeah, too bad you're not playing one. Uh, I mean, two is probably one of the better ones. It just doesn't make for the best sequential in the entire universe. Um, but, like, I, I was looking online. I, I think we, we played the Wii U one briefly when it came out. And... Um, uh, I was looking at the reviews. I was looking at like some some websites that were like, we ranked all the Fatal Frame games. And it's like, yes, and the Wii U one is the worst one. It's like, ah, oh, God, that sucks. Uh, I guess it's a it's a franchise everybody already knows about, but yeah. uh, I really wish they would make more Silent Hill games that were not bad. No, we're just hoping. There's a there's a there's a lot of franchises out there I feel like that have like one or two good entries and then a bunch of like kind of shitty ones that I really wish would get like more good entries um, in the future. I don't know. So, well, uh, let's see if we can yeah we can get get done here. I don't know. The problem here is that this just keeps going and going and going yeah, and going and going. It's, it's so. literally just dungeon crawling. Yeah. 
not a lot to really commentate on. Yeah, that's very true. Um, I don't know. What have you been playing recently, John? Um, I tried good? playing uh, Final Fantasy 15. Oh, because it was on the Game Pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far did you get? Uh, I, I 20 minutes? Got through Chapter 1. Okay. So, like, past the king dying and mm -hmm. and them not actually getting on the boat and oh then, okay like, going okay back and then seeing that the city's destroyed or whatever or whatever it's going on with it not destroyed but uh sup, and then i just funky. basically went this is boring i i give up <laughs> <laughs> hey that's kind of what the same thing that happened to me uh and i haven't been back to it since um i just i found that combat of that game incredibly unsatisfying yeah like just controlling one person it's it's what makes me it's what makes me nervous about seven because seven the seven remake I mean we won't we won't go down that road John you and I have gone down that road a lot but like the combat from the trailers that they've shown and from the gameplay segments that they've shown seems kind of like Final Fantasy fifteen except you can switch to different people yeah which I think you can do in fifteen can't you uh sort of mm hmm like you can like do moves where it gives brief control over over the character kind of a synergy yeah type but, of thing but you have to have like certain like combat points or whatever like one of the bars has to be filled to do it and so i don't know okay but whatever it was the story wasn't the story wasn't gripping you yeah <laughs> i just i don't i wasn't really there we go not feeling it no i wasn't feeling it okay well, I, oop, oh, I mean, I didn't so. even hate the characters. Like, I was just like, ah, this is just. Ah, so you want Noctis to be in every game now? Of course. Yeah, you're yeah. on board with the with this now. Put Noctis in every game. So I, I've always been on board with that. So this is where things start getting a little bit more interesting because the you start getting more of the different skeletons, and then they start getting a little bit more power, more tough. Like they'll defend more. Also, apparently they'll scream for 25 minutes. Whoa. Oh, I've never got that before. What's that on the ground over there? Where? Go back up, but it's glowing. Oh, there you go. Pig iron. Eat that pig iron. <laughs> so there's a there's a thing. One of the other things you can do at the blacksmith is a, a, appraise a sword, and you have to have like specific appraisal books in order to do that. Yeah. And I guess that's probably what the weird question mark question mark question mark stored was that I picked up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like I've been playing a lot of Dead Cells recently, and this kind of reminds me of just like, I don't know, man. You put on some YouTube videos and just kind of jam out, jam out in a dungeon for a little okay. while. Doesn't yeah. take a million, uh, doesn't take all your your concentration in the world. I get that. But um, other than that, I've just been watching TV shows, going to the movies, and uh, building. Um, Kamen Rider things. Kamen Rider model figures. How am I? How, oh, I'm shocked. Shocked to find out that John's been building Kamen Rider figures. Hey, those things are not easy to find here in the States. Yeah? Yeah. Amazon? I've been having to order them from Amazon, but yeah. Uh, like, I actually ordered two. Yeah. Uh, and I got one, like, next day delivery, and then the other one I'm supposed to get sometime in March. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, there we go. Which I thought was kind of funny. Like the one I was like bought, bottom is like this one will be at your house tomorrow. This one will be sometime between March fifth and March twenty fifth. Wow. I'm like, all right. So and there's no tracking on the second one. I'm like, oh, that's good. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of crappy. Yeah. Oh but, yeah, this level know. sucks because you got these things. When you step on them, it blows you up. Well, why would you do that? I just want to show everyone what happens when you get blown up. I mean, we're not going to be playing this for more than about five minutes anyway. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's only a matter of time before like you're getting Matt Frank to bring you back Kamen Rider models from uh, um, Japan. Have you already done that? Uh, well, that already he, happened? not models, but uh, Kamen Rider belts, toys, and stuff. Yeah, I, I uh, gave him <laughs> money on his last trip, and he bought some stuff for him. I'm going over to his house on Saturday. To oh, well, there you go. Uh, so, you know. Okay. Already there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, this game is pretty cool. We'll, we'll, we'll probably just leave it here because, like I said, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it kind of seems like it's just more of this, but then, like, it opens up to more stuff as time goes on, but it's still, this is the primary 
Yeah, this is the primary verb of the game is kind of coming into these dungeons. The thing is that it it's a lot of times these types of dungeon games get a little onerous because I feel like they're more repetitive, and this one I feel like moves so far at least at a good clips, uh, so you can like destroy these shrines and actually get some money out of them. Um, but then there's like all this stuff that I haven't even seen that seems like it's unlocking or will unlock eventually in the game. Here we had an archer, so you start getting like mixed groups. And then after I, the first time I got out of this area, it let me, on that first floor, it put a portal that let oh, you go, nice. like, go to this area instead of having to play all the way from the beginning again, which oh, was nice. nice. Uh, so, yeah. Um, in any case, yeah, this has been uh, Katana Kami. A uh, 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 Way of the Samurai game. Yeah, and I think that if you've never played Way of the Samurai, you should totally go do that. I guess if you have Steam because it's not really available, or like a PlayStation Two, and you you and like a SD TV, and like a place to buy PlayStation Two games. I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of caveats in that particular sentence. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think and what your favorite way of the Samurai game is. And how many of you already know what way the Samurai is? Because whenever I make a declarative statement, there's always an exception. Ooh, I got the God Speed Bow? What does that mean? Let's see what that is real fast. Uh, exchange. Oh, I think it's just a bow that has yeah, a, a, bow. Uh, a title on it, though. Um... Most of the bows that I found have been too slow to really be useful, but uh, yeah, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Help us out by kicking us some bucks and then in return we'll kick you bonus videos. If you would like to see John patiently play, patiently watch me play every single Dark Souls game, well, all you got to do is become a patron. Or, uh, or watch me play uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the first one with yep. Jeff, like, uh, gritting his teeth over the fact that I, I don't play as good as he does. Yeah, like biting my own hands off in frustration. Can I block with this thing? Oh, I can. Bows suck in a samurai game. <laughs> I don't know. Probably There's probably a big, like a really good one out there somewhere that is really good, but um, anyway, yes. Uh, also, we got some Amazon link links down below. I'll probably put, I don't know, I'll put something down there. You don't have to buy the thing that's on the Amazon links, but if you start by uh, clicking on them, and then you buy something, then we get a little piece of uh, whatever it is that you buy, and that's cool. Um, yeah, join us back here tomorrow. Uh, Man and I are going to take a very brief break from Fatal Frame, uh, so you have to you have to tune in to see what all that's about. And with all that, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>